Hi everyone, today we're beginning a whole new unit in your K-12 history lesson. This is first grade history in K-12. We're beginning unit three, the rise in ancient empires. So the first lesson is going to be lesson 3.1, which is ziggurats versus pyramids. So guess what we're learning about? Ziggurats and pyramids. Obviously on the left hand side you see ziggurats and on the right hand side you see pyramids. So what are some differences and similarities that you see between ziggurats and pyramids right off the bat. Well, one thing I've noticed is that pyramids are much more triangular in shape, whereas ziggurats are um, more rectangular. Plus, ziggurats actually have steps on the sides going like this, whereas pyramids don't really have steps on the side, but rather the inside uh, through which you know they have secret, secret chambers where they bury their uh, pharaohs and um, pharaohs are egyptian kings all right and, and also the tips pointing to the sun and up to the sky and then to, for here it's more the tips are pointing more to the side and these and the tips on and the pyramids point up up to the sky not to the side right yes so the tips of the pyramid point to the sky whereas the tips of these are really just the edges the corners on the ziggurats okay so let's dig deeper into the lesson so the first difference between ziggurats and pyramids is that ziggurats were in mesopotamia whereas pyramids were in egypt we'll take a look at the map in just a second Okay, so here's the map that was provided in your lesson, the map of Mesopotamia. If you guys remember what Mesopotamia means, it means the land between two rivers. Excellent. So where's the land between two rivers? Here, between the Euphrates, Euphrates River, River and, and the, the Tigris. Tigris River. Very good. There's a piece of land that we refer to as Mesopotamia. So right here, you see in the legend, it says, it shows these little triangles and it says Sumer. So and this must be the region, that's Sumer. And this is where the Sumerians built ziggurat. Yeah, well, let's make a little ziggurat shape over here. I guess, maybe. <laughs> Not so yeah. great at making it ziggurat, but whatever. Now that's yeah, more like so, a pyramid. So that's where Sumerians made ziggurats and ziggurats are temples. Right now we're looking at a map of Mesopotamia. So here, is Egypt. Egypt is right here where it says Nile River. You can see the river delta, uh, triangular shape right here. That's the delta when a river splits apart into uh, many different uh, rivers going into the sea. So that's called the delta, this triangular shape right here. And here's the Nile River. Let me actually take a blue color to match the whole theme of rivers. Okay, yeah. So this should be fun. You can do this activity on your own activity books. This is in your K-12 history um, student guide or lesson guide. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's in your K-12 history one student guide for first grade. So here's the Nile River. And this area is Egypt right here. This area is part of the continent of Africa. So this area that I'm sort of putting marks on is Egypt. And uh, earlier in your K-12 history lesson, we studied about Mesopotamia. So Mesopotamia, the region over here, you see um, the land over here, the part, uh, the piece of land here between these two rivers, this one called the Tigris River and, and the Euphrates River and the Euphrates River on the other side over here. So the land between these two rivers yeah, and they merge into the Persian Gulf, Euphrates River actually extends a bit to the land over here yeah so this land over here let me actually take a different color for the land let's choose brown green, green. yeah I, I like that idea okay i was suggested green so let me take green and yeah this part of land between these two rivers the tigris river and the euphrates river is referred to as mesopotamia it's called mesopotamia so mesopotamia consists of some regions. So this part over here is called Ur or Ur, as you can see here. And Ur, okay. And this part, the shady part over here is um oh actually this part over here is Sumer. Sumer because the legend over here shows little triangles. In this area I can see tiny triangles, great triangles that match the 
uh, picture in the legend right here. So that tells me that this uh, area with tiny triangles around it, and you can see this better in your activity book, um, is called Sumer. So Sumer is where Sumerians live, okay? So there's a region over here that I'm going to mark in an orange circle. That's called Sumer. S-U-M-E-R. And the people who lived here were called Sumerians. So Sumerians, just Sumer with I, A, N, S. Sumerians. So they built, like, like the Egyptians here uh, in Egypt, Sumerians also built temples, like pyramids, but they were not exactly pyramids. They were different. They were called ziggurats. <laughs> And so we're going to take a look at pictures of some ziggurats right now. Here we are looking at ziggurats. So this is what a ziggurat looks like today. But back in the days uh, when they were built, they would have looked something like this. And they were built. Here's a comparison between pyramids and ziggurats. This is showing the inside of the pyramids. But on the outside, pyramids um, are just uh, smooth and covered. You can't see any... Yeah. Um, yeah, like there are no steps or anything, chambers, you can't see those from the outside. But a ziggurat's different, it's got steps on the outside and it's kind of rectangular, unlike the pyramids. Pyramids have triangular faces. Okay, so now let's take a look at some key, tr key things to remember and differences, comparisons and contrasts between pyramids and ziggurats. Here we are again, comparisons and contrasts, some key similarities and differences between pyramids and ziggurats. I've listed them right here to re remember. Okay, so first let's take a look at ziggurats. Well, ziggurats were temples in Mesopotamia, in the region of Sumer that we saw in the map over here. Sumer. This is Sumer. Okay. And Mesopotamia means land between two rivers, as we saw on the map. Ziggurats, unlike pyramids, were built out of baked mud and haze. Not not with stones like the pyramids were. Okay, so that's one key difference. Yeah. Ziggurats were made out of baked mud and haze, not out of stones that pyramids were built out of. Okay. Use, they didn't use stone because there were no cliffs around. Right, the reason they didn't use stone was because there were no cliffs around where they lived, but in Egypt they did. So they used, they cut out the stones, cliffs, and... Shaped it for hundreds and hundreds, for maybe not hundreds, but lots of days Yeah, for many days, and then it was a long and hard process to build these beautiful, magnificent monuments. Let's take a look at some other differences. Okay, so ziggurats have stepped sides, whereas pyramids, they're really, um, they used to be smooth on the outside, but since it's been thousands and thousands of years, the smooth exterior, the smooth outside of the pyramids has um, receded, it's gone. So now you can see just the stones and brick, they're not bricks, they're stones. Stones on the outside. I mean, bricks out of the mud. All right. And the other key thing to remember is that in the ziggurats, which were temples that the Sumerians built, that they brought food and other offerings here to make to their priests and their gods. Um, whereas in the pyramids, they actually buried the pharaohs and um, kept treasures and other riches and nice things in the inside. So let me just extend this right here. Okay, you can see all of the key differences right here. I've listed them out for you so it's easier to see. So pyramids, they were made out of stones, cut out from mountains. They're sturdier and they last longer than cigarettes. Um, and pyramids were in Giza, Egypt, as you you might have seen in your previous um, pages of your K-12 history book map that they pointed out somewhere along here something called Giza, a place called Giza. That's where the pyramids were built. Or great pyramids were built. Okay. Um, any final notes? 
Oh, and pyramids have triangular sides. They have triangular faces on each side. All right, and that was everything.